Hello everyone, Mike with Spray Jones. What we're looking at here is a dimple membrane that is installed internally for concrete foundations. And they use this because the foundation is weeping water coming through it and they want to give a pathway that when the water comes through the foundation wall it can find a way to get down the wall to a weeping tile system and then to a sump pump and hence drainage system. So this internal weeping tile system is installed in a lot of basements to deal with uh, moisture issues from an internal standpoint so they're not having to excavate and do uh, extraction. What we see here is a lot of times these absolutely should be spray foam with closed cell spray foam. So people ask us all the time like can you go to the dimple membrane? The answer is yes. One, it should be well fastened or enough fasteners in it that it's not super loose and that it's going to cause wavy huge problems with the spray foam. The spray foam is going to shift and cause it to move and what have you around as it's being sprayed. The second issue is I believe that these, these uh, polyethylene uh, drainage mats should be primed and that's what you're seeing here. That's why it's got a gray look to it, not a uh, white look. It's a very thin uh, speed primer. We put an automotive grade um, ammonia etching speed primer. You can get them at many of your local uh, commercial slash industrial paint supply places. Commercially good, residentially not as good for supply. Uh, and then we put it on at a thousandth to two thousandths of an inch. It's very thin. That's why you can see through it. It's very holy looking. It's supposed to go on quite, quite thin, not thick. And then the primer etches into the surface of the plasticizers. And then you get an excellent adhesion with the closed cell spray foam on the polyethylene. Now, spray foam will stick to polyethylene fairly tenacious on its own as it is. Not so much on plastic sheathing but like a plastic bucket or pails or what have you or on plastic ABS pipe or uh, plastic piping of some sort but we like to go the extra mile since this is actually going to be a internal envelope we want to have good adhesion um, as much as we depends on us then that's why we prime out so go ahead and prime the job uh, speed primer airless paint sprayer takes about an hour put it on usually uh, by the time you get done the spot that you started at is already dry and you can whip over to your your spray foam gun and then get going on the spray foam insulation and uh, this is the premier way to deal with these internal weeping tile systems I don't know if you see much of this in the United States maybe you do it's very common here in Canada uh, sometimes people want to dig up the outside of the foundation that's incredibly disruptive and very time-consuming and very costly people are looking at thirty forty thousand dollars to excavate dry things up and then put some sort of a, uh, not usually a tire membrane, but some sort of a primer system and then a uh, peel and stick membrane system. And then usually, and again, a backup uh, dimple membrane drainage system, new weeping, weeping tile system at the footing if one's not there or has been damaged. So this is a really good way of retrofitting a situation internally. Uh, I know it may look really, really weird to some, but where we are, trying to mitigate water through the cracks and through a compromised damp proofing system on the external concrete this is the way that they do it and these only should be retrofitted with closed cell foam why the foam sticks tenacious to the, uh, the uh, polyethylene and uh, it provides an extra waterproofing layer and then it can lay right in close co intimate contact with it and even if it did get damp or there was a weep in the system that they've done in a seam or something like that, it's not going to get into the insulation, uh, into the wall assembly and bring mold and rot things out. So close cell foam, then you build your framing inside of it, put your electrical in, drywall goes back up, Bob's your uncle. So this is a short little video just explaining what you're seeing. Think about it. It's definitely the way to go. Contact us if you're doing this. If you're not, take this knowledge, take this information into your project and uh, have a good spray foam insulation job. All right. So comment like, subscribe, share it with somebody that needs to see it. We'll catch you on a new video.